Hello my dear Aquarius, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between August the 1st to August 15, 2016 with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, if you would like a personal reading with me, you can contact me at my email. It, you will find it in the description box below. It's Queen of Cups Tarot at Outlook.com. Uh, so I call the divine with love and light. I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and I call the six elements earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether uh, to join us here today and to guide us uh, towards loving relationship for Aquarius and creative success and also for them to be guided towards their highest path regarding spiritual enlightenment. So love, creativity and spirituality for my dear Aquarius. Ten of Cups fell out for you. So love on high level. unconditional love that you share with just those few special relationships so i will tune in a bit on gemini love creativity spirituality first half of august 2016 aquarius i hope i said aquarius uh, so uh, this is your past the foundation uh, this is the now and here's your future uh, so the first card for you aquarius is two of wands so there's a decision sorry decision that needs to be made I'm paralyzed my tongue is paralyzed um so you need to make a decision and it's like a halt before things move forward it's like a pause uh, a pause of breath where you can uh, think about how you want to pro proceed what's your ultimate goal and what choices you have so it's like evaluate and maybe it's two people also not speaking to each other yes it's like someone sneaking away here mm, two people being too proud maybe the deers there being too proud to speak to one another so they have taken the two different positions and someone is leaving in a haste taking some source with them so at least they have some knowledge from whatever happened there uh, so love uh, maybe there is uh, someone having more than uh, two partners this could be leaving one relationship for another and uh, yes this is what i see so we'll see there will come more things when we go down here so the second number two well, there's a, about juggling uh, several different relationships and several different like things happening. Maybe business associate, uh, family members. It's like uh, hard to juggle those kind of relationships. And if you have more than one love relationship, well, you will have a lot of sweat on your forehead. And uh, this one should maybe stop juggling those two things and turn to the dolphin there, the love, the true love and... Uh, towards their intuition and and the ship like real love not um, uh, not a, a egoistic kind of love where you leave uh, people and betray people but it's two it's many two so it's like really like a halt like a the space between two breaths and it's um maybe it's like you keeping your breath because someone has left left you and it's like you don't know what's going to happen it's like this stillness and uh, you don't really know what the future will bring and this is what i see in your foundation this kind of situation here uh, so the next card for you aquarius it's the ace of wands so things moving forward anyway mm. uh, i get uh, normally this is a really nice card about maturity and um, like fire, um, life force, spiritual growth and things like this. But since, and it comes from two of wands, so it's like taking one decision. But I feel that it's a little bit an egoistic um, 
uh, decision in some some way but it needs to be done i guess so yes the high priestess so someone being really like not needing anyone else being really doing their own thing their own kind of thing here not really caring about the surrounding uh, just seeing to that their needs are met in this situation uh, so it's a bit of a misuse of the high priestess energy uh, like sneaking away from something leaving something and um, not taking the consequences because you have like um, can't feel the pain and maybe it's it was something needed to be done maybe you use your strength to do this to do this split from a bad relationship or a bad partnership and uh, so um, then that's really what you need to do uh, so underneath this two of cups i see a new beginning here with the three of wands uh, so I think this is leaving one situation and going to the next. It may be like um, leaving a work situation, a relationship. Um, maybe stop talking with some of your relatives because you think uh, they are not acting the way you would prefer. So you are trying to live without them with a the high priestess here and start something new on some other ground. Um, the next card I have for you is the Hero Font. And comes underneath this change card, this two of pentacles, like juggling things. Uh, so I'll try to feel it, that card a little bit. Um, strictly business is something I get out of this right now. And uh, it's a bit of someone who is uh, like uh, sitting on a high horse, uh, looking down on people a little bit. Uh, feeling that other people are not as equipped as they are. But also it's like, um, uh, it's a, a do-gooder, someone who wants to do good. Uh, but maybe it, um, in this case it's... Um, no, I think this will be good. But it's, you see, it's like this, you see on this level here. Uh, the now, uh, the two weeks at hand, it's like you have a one and a three. So it's like something new starting uh, in a business or a, a relationship. And you see those two, they are really like uh, alike. They have the same agenda. They are like both really self-sufficient and they think that my way or the highway kind of thing. And this one is like, um, um, it's a bit of trying to... It's a bit of a um, egoistic sense with this as well. It's like taking, uh, making things uh, changes for your own well-being in some sense, and this is like sneaking off with something for your own greater good. So it's almost a disuse of these spiritual powers. But I won't say anything more before I see the other cards. But it's it's a bit messy. It's the background is really messy with all those twos and the seven of swords but here it looks like more lovely like um, really harmonious anyway but the background from for those persons isn't really good it's like they have done something in their past that like um, dusting down their conscious but uh, the intention here with the three of wands and the two of cups between those two per persons are really nice so maybe they are just hurting for having to leave uh, the other relationships or the other companies to uh, get into this kind of partnership. Because the partnership looks really nice. It's just their past here that looks a bit of, um, like a little bit uh, strange. So I will just have to put in my charger. So, the next card I have for you, it's the chariot. So, someone, uh, something is taking off. It's like uh, the payment is done, the decision is taken. So, someone is leaving and it's going in a great haste. And um, it's a new future, it's a new tomorrow. It's, um, it's a seven again. Uh, so, it's about spiritual growth and also about like uh, making room for the soul by uh, trying to uh, get rid of the ego. But here it's like a bit of feeding the ego but in the same time this looks really lovely so it will be 
good in the end. Uh, you may he need to take egoistic decisions uh, to to move ahead in life. Sometimes you need to uh, stay with your own beliefs and stay with your what you truly feel and and you have to do what's right for you. So I think those persons have did that and they will share something good regarding like willpower creation, spirituality, things like this. So and this is chariot. Uh, so someone is sitting uh, in a car traveling and it's a knight of pentacles. Uh, so knight of pentacles is nice. There's a, a bit of a more uh, like involved energy. Someone who wants to do some kind of work, uh, putting down the extra effort, being really loyal. And it comes underneath a high priestess. So I think in this new endeavor, they will do their best really to make this thing being a really good thing for the future. They just had to leave those old things behind, I think. And here we have the Ace of Swords. Uh, so maybe... Um, the, the sword is really sharp and sometimes when it's used in love any partnership it will like more split than heal uh, so uh, be mindful of this because the sword is uh, uh, to, especially together with the ace of wands is um, a bit of a feisty energy it's really male energy it's war it's about uh, this is like a forest fire and this is like a battlefield but it's in the true essence of the feeling it's pure air and pure um, pure f fire so and with pure air you can use your mind to be really sharp and to know things and to take a really clear decisions uh, but sometimes mm, uh, you have to use this really mindful because you know what what a sword can make it can kill people or, or it can take away uh, things that they had or they can take away their health uh, so when you use this towards other people you should be mindful that your decisions are also affecting other people. Uh, so the next card I have for you is Knight of Swords. Uh, so this um, uh, Hierophant energy here with the Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant and the Knight of Swords, is a bit of a more edgy energy. But you see, it's like two partners. They are going to try to team up here. And uh, they have left something with this. Uh, they did some decision here to participate in in some kind of, of um, uh, partnership that was really about uh, best intention in this partnership. Best intention is love and loving exchange. And here it's also like a really um, a nice energy with someone being really hopeful for the future and looking ahead and trying to make, make the best of the situation. And here maybe it will be like those two are going to team up with something and and make something really truthful, like something re really clear, like a clear mind, like a, a spiritual energy almost, like you focus your uh, divine energy into one common source. Uh, but also this could be like, mm, like two people meeting in a battlefield before the battle and like talking about the terms. And if the terms won't work out, there will be like this fierce battle. I get this kind of um, uh, um, eerie feeling with this. Uh, so um, this may not be a reading that suits for everyone, but uh, it's what I had uh, for today. So I will take some cards for you from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. That one fell out. Uh, it seems to fit. The Metal King. It's about discipline, armor, boundaries. So someone is going to make sure they doesn't get hurt in this process anyway and I hope they will be mindful not hurting other people as well so for my dear Aquarius thank you yes okay so the other cards for you is more soothing it's like camel boy small step asking for help uh, so I think uh, it's uh, the advice for the hero font kind of person here uh, that they are on a new adventure and they need to take things step by step uh, because this is like one step at a time change. So this change is going to have to be like um, really slow uh, so there won't be any problems. But this is a really hasty energy here, the, the Gemini kind of card here. 
so this could disturb the plans of taking things easy. Mm, the next uh, card I have is um, the High Lord of Gratitude and Service. And this is really why we are here. Uh, to make um, us, ourselves happy and content and also make others happy and content. So selflessness, humility and conscious action. So this should be what's in the mind for those two nights meeting. That they should do something that's best for the whole and not just for them personally. And uh, this would be lovely if they could use the sword like that. So I will also take some card from the past life oracle card for you. So, three cards for my dear Aquarius. Thank you. Thank you. It's sometimes really nice when I pick the card, they are like shining up. Uh, so I can pick them with just my eyesight when they are getting brighter in the color. So, okay spirituality and religion so uh, you are an educated person so you know uh, how to make your way to the world it's like this here font being really skilled having learned a lot mm, seen a lot um, accomplished a lot so it's a really dignity dignified energy here and but we need to take care of also those who's not so educated and that's um, that needs our help to take things step by step and to be able to be like really pure and, and vulnerable without they they shouldn't be needing armies to protect themselves uh, we should protect them because we are we should be good people and do good things so um so this is about your inner core that needs protection and you need to take things step by step and really slow so you won't get hurt in in this situation and also there's health and health can be accomplished by a person not having any regrets anymore and not and only doing things that's for the greater good and for their own good and like um, mm, taking those things mm, those hurtful feelings inside and really just scan them through and um, and be with the feelings and stay with them and i think this will be like healing between it's almost like healing between to uh, to persons here with the sword as well here but so i hope for this i hope for peace between those two i hope for reconciliation that there will be peace here and that you will choose the thing that's best for the for the some great good like this card so lovely aquarius thank you so much for watching and i hope uh, uh, to see you again in the middle of August when I will uh, publish um, my next video for you. And so until then, take really good care and um, my deepest love for you all and uh, my good, deepest gratitude for all you watching. So thank you so much and uh, I will show you the spread from above as well. So you see. Okay. So thank you so much and take uh, good care and... Bye-bye.